Hey guys, how's it going? Wait. All right, here we go. I'm gonna play viewers today, as last time. So I already see three challenges. I'm gonna challenge the first one. I'm gonna accept the first challenge, three plus zero. Please challenge me into an unrated game if you'd like to play. I'm gonna be doing some commentary and uh, beating you mercilessly if I can oh London oh no one of my viewers hates this opening with all heart alright here I'm gonna go D5 and one of the newest setup where you don't develop the knight on C6 you basically castle and then this is the plan, you go queen c7, knight bd7 and e5 when you go knight c6 first you give him an option to go bishop b5 so this is kind of, so here I have an option of going bishop d3 or queen c5, both are fine you should always watch out for tricks here connect it with e4, knight e4, I don't know it doesn't work here but it can work sometimes yeah e4, very logical play this, this still could be a theory actually uh, I think you can check uh, Aronian Van Kao game. I think in a Rapid World Championship, I think uh, Van Kao played it correctly and got a pretty nice position. The game ended into a draw. Hey Ahol, how's it going? Okay Ahol, I'll play you at some point, hopefully. Owl is one of my very loyal viewers. He loves to listen to hip hop. Big hip hop fan. Hey, Constantino. Hey, Angela. Please link the challenge. Just go Crip 30, my friend. Oh, shh. Oh, no. I was just telling you I shouldn't blunder. <laughs> Pop the pawn. Now I'm in deep trouble. Gotta get myself to get it. Okay, I can still go knight f6 and try to hold hold on. But yeah, that was a clear blunder. Now I'm just pawned down. I don't think he's brave enough to take this one. I don't think he should take it. Yeah, now queen is going to h4 and I don't really have a choice. I have to swap the queens. Which is pretty sad. Considering I'm just pawned down. No worries. Right, I need to turn the volume up a bit. Oh, my Spotify volume is low. Alright, here usually you want to go like something like B5, B4. This is a pretty dumb set position. Just calm down for nothing. Should I be creative? Yeah, let's, let's be creative. But this is the plan. Yes, Constantino. Top players, especially in the Blitz, they blunder quite often. Don't be surprised by that. 
If top player doesn't blunder in the blitz ever, it means something is wrong. Something is highly suspicious. Yeah, so he's playing pretty logical moves, but he's not putting any pressure on me, so that, that's a good thing. I hope the music is not too depressing to you guys. Yes, DK guy, how's it going? One of my favorites, the Smith. Partly it can get pretty depressing, but I find it beautiful. Yeah, alright, so this is totally fine. Despite being pawned down, I'm very active, so I shouldn't have any issues to to hold it, hold this to a draw. As you can see, it's super passive. But I have been having one major issue recently, mouse slipping non-stop, so I can never be super safe, even if I'm queen out. Yes, he wants a grandmaster girl. Guys, well, I don't really have a choice. How can I possibly? You know what? No draw. No draw for you. Jim never come in. Never goes for draws. Not the rock. I'd rather die. Oh, I shouldn't have taken. That's good. That's good. Now we actually got a kind of a plan. Oh no, there is pretty damn fast. Keep on blundering his pawn, and for some reason I'm not taking you. Yeah. Alright, here comes my favorite part. Flagging! Bloody machine! So fast. Oh, oh, GG man. Sorry. I just really wanted to win my first game. Good game. Okay, three plus zero. Let's play this guy. He's he's a talented youngster. He's only 72 years old. From after this game I'll choose randomly. Yes, filthy GM play, 100%. <laughs> Alright, we got a Budapest. Uh, yeah, in general I don't recommend playing Budapest because you usually win the pawn back, but you get this structure which is slightly favors white. So even in the best scenario, if you win the pawn back, it's, it's, it's not great. You just pass it and slightly worse. Hey Floyd. Hello Complex, C Complex, how's it going? Yeah, so the knight is better to play on C3 than D5, of course. Uh, but yeah, Owl doesn't know it, despite I told him like a few hundred times maybe. As you can see, guys, we played already 31 games. But Owl can never have enough. So this this one was just, uh, yeah, just trolling. And this one he beat me in a simul, in a nice game. Thanks, Floyd. 
Alright, what do we do now? He protected his knight. Well, my rooks are not doing anything, so it's time to bring them to the game. So basically, guys, if you don't develop your pieces, most of the, uh, most of the scenarios, you, do, you just don't use them. They're basically just sitting on a starting position and doing nothing, so... Developing, developing pieces is, is a key thing in chess. Putting, putting pieces, pieces into the right squares is one of the most important things to learn. Alright, let's see if Owl will find the only move. Because if he doesn't, he's gonna be in big trouble. Alright, he does find the only square for his knight. But he's been playing quite a few useless moves. And now I've been activating my pieces and I'm doing really well. It's such a beautiful bishop. Do you have any threats? Oh, he goes G3. That's pretty brave. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for an attack. Bishop base three, H4. Oh my god! I could have just gone Queen F3. It would have been game over. All right, let's bring the rook. Hello, baby. I think he has to go here, that's that's the only defense that I see. Oh, oh this one looks reasonable too. But uh what if I take? If he goes here. What should take? Not sure actually. Not sure what happens after this. So look at four was very interesting. But now I don't think there's anything interesting. He should be made with it. Oh, cheers. Hope you enjoyed the game, my friend. Yes, casual. <laughs> Having a good rating is a matter of life and death for me, so please, please do casual challenges only. GG Owl, well done. I'll, I'll teach you the Owl, uh, the Budapest properly one day. Okay, let's do random challenges now. This one. Where's my mouse? Here we go. Chess uh, Improver Oh, no worries, sir. Hope you enjoyed, sir. <laughs> Alright, I'm playing C4 and uh, two knights. G6, you usually go E3 and then fight for the center. Uh, preferably here you should go knight F6 and D5 because when you do this, I basically succeed in conquering the center. Yeah, and here I'm supposed to go to 5 if I'm not mistaken. Alright, bishop d3, bishop d2, both are possible. I like bishop d3 more. A bit, a bit more active. And then my moves are going to be something like rook e1, bishop g5. Just, you know, gotta find the most natural squares for your pieces and develop them. It usually comes with experience though. You see this structure so many times that you already know which, which squares your pieces should be going to. So if he castles, his queen is gonna go here, and usually this battery with bishop on g5 and queen h4 is very powerful and unpleasant to face. Owl is enjoying himself and calling me sir, because the word sir is banned in my channel. Rook is coming. As you can see, all my pieces are beautifully developed. And that's the key to success. I remember when Carson was like 13. All, all he was obviously he was super talented, but all he was doing was just putting the pieces onto the right squares and then crushing his opponents. I remember, I remember my uh, one of his biggest results was the Aeroflot Open, the A section. Oh my God! 
Oh, that's such a bad move, my friend. Did you mouse slip? Did you meant to castle or something? No, you, you just missed your night, I believe. Yeah. This is what happens. When you, when you develop your pieces all into the right squares and put pressure on your opponent, he cracks. He or she. And usually when you develop all your pieces uh, and, and you feel like everything is on the right square, then, that, that's when you should start looking for tactics. Because that's when all the tactics start working. Should be all over very soon. The mage should be in a couple of moves. I actually, yeah. What's what's the quickest mate? Is there mate in two? I do not see mate in two. Is there mate in two? I only see mate in three. Am I missing something? Oh, I'm just gonna do mate in three then. Yeah. GG my friends, so uh, hope you enjoyed the game. There's one recommendation for you. Just learn the line with knight f6, it's much easier. So knight f6, d4, cd, dd5, there are heaps of, heaps of games there. And uh, you can just look at the Grandmaster games and learn how to, and see how they develop their pieces. Right, now we go to this guy. Alexander Avaneso. It looks like an Armenian name. All right, here we go. E4, what shall we play against E4? Let's play the French. Uh, Bishop F8, uh, risky, you mean. Uh, risky is a bit... Uh, to say it's just risky is to say nothing. It's just a blunder, C complex. So Bishop D3 is a, is a rare move. Uh, but it's... It's quite venomous if you don't know how to play against it. So the natural move is knight c6, but I prefer developing the knight on d7. I think there's a wasteless sword game where we played with knight d7 and got a pretty nice position. So the, the only issue with knight d7 is I gotta figure out how to develop my light squared bishop. And usually when you put the knight on d7, then you go a6 b5, but it's not possible at the moment because of the bishop on f3. Uh, that's why I'm just gonna take, and if he takes with the knight, I'll go here. French, yes, Owl is a big French French guy. There's even a command, few commands about French on my channel. All of them are created by Owl. Despite being 73 years old, he's, he's very energetic. Some girls' mothers are bigger than other girls' mothers. Bishop f4, knight c4. Rook c8, bringing the rook to the game. Preparing queen, queen penetration. Oh, oh no! Guys, I actually blundered this, but I'm just lucky. I'll, I'll admit, I totally missed bishop d7. Transportation to what, Kasparov? Ah, transposition. Thanks, sir. Oh, that was so. It, it happens quite frequently, guys. When you blunder, like it, it can be different. Not such an obvious one. Like you calculate a line and it's like, oh, it works well, and you're so happy. Then you realize you blunder, and then you realize you actually did not blunder. There was something you didn't see, but there is an additional resource that saves you from losing. Uh, to the knight c6 line. Oh, because the knight goes to e5 anyway. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I haven't checked it here in that line for a while. So. Alright, let's go here. Weird move. Just, you know, trying to use the tactical resource. Just challenge me on the chest, my friend. Trip 30. You got. 
almost two hours. I'll be live for another two hours. I'm gonna take this knight and then push the queen to c3. Yeah, and here I thought I can just go here and I'm gonna be in good trouble defending. If if this bishop was defended, like this pawn was a was in was here, then would have been fine. But, oh, what did you blunder, my friend? Yeah, GG. Saw it instantly. Good game. Yeah, so Bishop D3 is a decent line. You can check actually chestnut videos, chestnut.com. And yeah, they cover this line. This is one of their main lines against French. And uh, I mean, it doesn't give you any advantage. It works much better as a surprise. But yeah, white is never worse in any of the lines. So if you play quickly and you know what you're doing, you can, you can, you know, win, score some wins. All right, here we go. This guy, Gampitato, first five plus zero game. Oh, thanks, Bruce. Thanks a lot. Alright, we played. So I'm gonna play completely different openings every time. So this time we'll play E5. Okay. Bishop C4, Knight F6, Knight F3. So usually this is not very popular. People go Knight C3. The problem with Knight F3 is obviously that I can take on E4. Oh yeah, Knight C3. This is some sort of a gambit. I'm not very. GL my friend, not familiar with. So when you are not familiar with gambits and you're scared, you just don't accept the gambit. If you can. Sorry guys, I haven't had a breakfast yet, so I'm just gonna have a bite of my sandwich. Excuse me. D5, there's the plan. Oh yes, 3 plus 2 is accepted. So 3 plus 0, 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 0, and 5 plus 2 if you really want to. Yes, the Smith, my friend. Legendary Smith and the Morrissey. A bit later I played there, because uh, Morrissey was a big... Uh, act is still a big activist and vegetarian, animal lover. So I played one of his vegetarian albums it's called meat is murder all right so we did not win the pawn but he's slightly ahead in development but i have this beautiful pawn on d5 which uh blocks off lots of his pieces and then i'm gonna go c6 bishop d6 knight d7 so it's very important when you look at the position my my coach used to do this to me you just look at the position he would just look at the position and tell me what would be your next 10 moves how would you develop your pieces and that's important to know like what are your obviously you can't really it, i mean your opponent's gonna put some pressure on you and you're not gonna be able to do what you exactly want to do but uh knowing what's your few incoming moves is important Obviously, when it's like this, he threatens something every single move. I can't really build up big plans. So now my thinking process is: if he goes here, I take. He takes. I take this. He's not my teammate, my friend. What? When was he ever my teammate? He's my countryman, but anyway, I, I can't say much because I don't have any information. I hope he wasn't cheating. If you if you go to my channel, there's few comments about that thing. And you can you can see what I think about it. 
In general, I have very harsh opinion about cheaters. All right, we managed to consolidate and we are just pawn up, which is a good news for me. So if I was him, I would do this now. But the main issue with this position is look at these pieces, guys. Knight on c3 and bishop b2. They do absolutely nothing. I played in Pro Chess League once, like five, six years ago. No, I did play once. Uh, but not too many. I don't remember even. I played some games. But Tigran wasn't even the team when I played. And yeah, I just played a few games from my home and that's it. I can't really tell you what was happening. <laughs> oh, you just gotta challenge me on leeches. Okay, guys, what what is the threat now? If it was Black's turn, what would Black do? Kasparov, I'm not asking you, dude. You're good enough. You're like 2,300 feet there. You, you'll see this instantly. Yep, well done. Guys, I'm a big queen folk guy. I actually have to go and see a doctor and tell him that I have a big issue swapping the queen when I don't don't need to. Hey Aqua, how's it going? Yes, 93 guys, correct. 93 was winning a queen for two pieces, which is usually good. He goes 92, I'm gonna continue pushing my pawns and put pressure on his big bishop. He goes 93, he's forcing a queen swap, which I'll happily take. Okay, what is my threat now, guys? I have a massive threat. Oh, thanks for that. Oh my god, what? Gambito, what were you thinking, bro? F3? This is one of the biggest blunders I've seen. Oh. Oh. You didn't mouse slip, right? Uh, no, it wasn't the threat. I was just joking. Oh, hello, doggy. Oh, hello. All right, Gigi, my friend. Let's see who is next. My doggy just came and dropped the toy. He wants to play. Here you go. All right, who's next? Let's see. Gigi, my friend. Just watch out always. Yeah, it happens. It happens to everyone. Just always ask yourself a question. What is my opponent threatening? That should be the first, first question you ask yourself. And then you start calculating. And you usually start calculating with captures and checks. All right, here we go. This this guy. Grapapara. Is that correct? Yeah, it was all good. Hey, Mega, how's it going? Ironic song title. <laughs> all right. This time I'll play d5. Let's play the slop. Well, this is all around the main lines. Thousands of games have been played. It's not a song title though, Mega. It's album title. Guys, Mega is a DJ. Very, very... My DJ, at least, on my channel. And in general, he's a very good guitar player. And a chess lover. Yeah, yeah, do both. Yeah, I just didn't like his comments on MC, calling him an idiot. And in general, this conception when they say, Oh, I don't want to talk standard things. I'm just going to insult people and be unique. I don't know. I mean, you don't really have to be too clever to do that. 
If you want to be non-standard things, you don't have to insult people. Alright, this E5 is a very typical idea against this kind of structure. Yes, my friend, only blitz. Perhaps you don't see complex. Yes, Love Queen's Gambit, one of the most popular openings, of course. And in general, uh, my approach when I play Grandmasters is just to keep them guessing. Play every single open uh, opening every decent opening and keep them guessing and some of them don't even bother preparing against me because like oh this dude just plays every single opening i mean i'm just gonna rest and be fresh for the game and you know just try to outplay him, not out prepare him. no i don't accept rated please why do you wanna i mean it's not a big deal but unrated would be fair because if i win i get nothing if i lose something nasty happens and I'm afraid if the if I start playing rated games, people might become over ambitious. All right, queen e7, very healthy position. Oh, Carlson easily, my friend. It's just what he, the result he shows now, where there's so many, so many chess professionals who they basically devote their life to chess. They work like 12 hours a day, 14 hours a day, and he still beats them. So that's pretty amazing. So to me, he's the god because the chess is a, the most competitive that's ever been now, and to beat everyone by a by a pretty big margin now is something that has to be appreciated. I mean, yeah. Usually you can't really be an idiot and do that. And if you play like an idiot and you still beat people there, yeah. That's pretty sad for the rest of the world. Well, usually guys, what I like to do during my stream is giving fake clues. So F4 is, is a really good move. Like, I totally missed F4. Oh my god. Unbelievable. How is this possible? How could this be happening only to me? What, new in chess? Oh, nice. I mean, it's, it's true, everybody plays like an idiot once in a while, but... I mean, he's the guy who barely ever plays like an idiot. <laughs> and it's also not to, not to say that, not nice to say that once you beat him, like, the guy, yeah, I mean, the timing is also awful. But anyway, he's his second, I mean, they know better. I don't think MC needs my defense. Alright, I'm gonna go bishop d4 and try to figure out how to swap the queen. I'm glad you enjoyed my friend uh, so guys one of the the other most important things in chess is to know which pieces to swap if you, if you look at the position and you can figure which pieces you should swap with which ones then it means you're in pretty good level already if you can correctly assess which piece of yours is uh, worse than your opponents and you know how you know which one favors you to swap then it's already usually you're already at a good level because that comes with lots of experience and knowledge yeah you can write on armenian Raphael, but the chat is only english and i can't guarantee you that you might get banned you know i won't ban you but you might get banned if you do it too often 
So one of the main issues now is that this pawn is weak. So if I'm I'm looking for some tactics, but none of them work because at the end this pawn ha is hanging. So that's why I'm going to play a prophylactic move. Hello, Ogzuchan. Uh, I have clear advantage here because if you look at my pieces, like my queen is more active than his queen, my bishop is probably better than his, my knight is attacking, his knight is defending, my rook is in open file, his rook is not in the open file, it's in a semi open file. It goes bishop b1. When I look at this move, I, I never think this, is, this could be right. It's just way too passive. Well, time to push. You know, great are making it good. Yes, GM, I'm sorry, man. It's a huge issue. It's actually, guys, quite. It's an issue. I actually like to trade queens. Sometimes I trade the queens and completely uh, spoil, uh, like, completely waste my advantage because of that. It just gives me comfort. You know, just like comfort food. I like to swap the coins and feel comfortable. Alright, our opponent blunders the piece, but his position was already quite difficult. Thanks, Karaparov, thanks for the game, hope you enjoyed. You were putting up pretty good resistance at the start. Just in general, here, when you put your bishop on d3, knight d2 is even better, because then you can capture c4 with the knight. Yeah, and gen in general, always watch out for this CE5. And try to keep your dust going, Bishop, if possible. Because it's a ma massive piece. Alright, let's go down here. And we challenge, we accept this guy. Here we go, Blitz Master. Good luck, my friend. Alright, what do we play this time? Let's play F5. One of probably Dutch is one of the only openings. I think I've never played it in the classical game. I don't like this pawn here. It just looks ugly to me. I'm gonna try to play Stonewall. Lockmar Damon. Oh my god. Peop I feel like people know all the opening names. I don't know this. I forgot which one was. Uh, just tell me the moves, my friend, and I'll tell you. So, this structure is called Stone Wall. Usually, you get White Pawn on d4. Well, I'm gonna play the album called Meat is Murder. I'm not going to try to. Uh, encourage vegetarianism. It's just for me. It's just a form of artist music, and I like to listen to it. Susi, thank you for the raid. A good friend of mine, uh, Susi. She started streaming recently, so please check out her channel. Uh, also, my teammate. Oh, e4 is such a nice move. Oh, meme. What do I do? It actually puts lots of pressure on my position. Well, I'm gonna take this one. Hey, ChaChaChess, how's it going? Thanks a lot for the raid, Susie. Copy had a good stream. In case if you are wondering what I'm eating, I'm eating dark bread with goat cheese, coriander, salmon, avocado, and bit of olive oil. Bishop has to be protected. Hey, smart guy. Yeah, IT play. <laughs> I don't know. One of my viewers, he's, he's a very intelligent troll, and he came up with this idea with high T chess, which basically means high testosterone chess. <laughs> And since then we're just stuck with that.
Tasty, thank you. Oh yeah, it is delicious. It's a bit overpriced. The bread they sell the bread for eight bucks, maybe ten bucks, but it's very nice. Oh, Grapsioni, thank you for two gifted. Uh, thank you for gifted sub to Tafasaka. Appreciate that. Oh no, what am I doing? I bet the guy who gifted sub is my opponent and distracted me. Uh, Australian, my friend. Australian dollar is less powerful than US dollar. Mm. Nice tactics. Not sure if it was necessary though. Not a difficult position. I'm just pretending I'm thinking about queen swap. Of course I'm gonna queen swap. Like who, who would ever doubt that? Yes, Mega. That's that's a good question. I don't know. I don't think so. I haven't had my morning coffee, so yeah. Pretty hard to play high chess without that. Alright guys, I'm pawned down and I could say I have compensation but I don't because he's active and he's pawn up, his beautiful knight on d6. So if I say I have compensation I would need to explain why do I have any compensation. Well the white squares, yeah the light squares are a bit weak so that's my only hope. Oh, I need to speed up. 26 seconds. Oh my god. This would be a good move now. Yes, plays it instantly. Which is not a good news. Alright, I just, just want to put my bishop here for now. To prevent rook penetration. Alright, we're gonna take this. Uh, we'll change down in pretty hopeless situation. Uh, is this going to be the first loss? But don't forget guys, I'm a dirty flagger. My channel is called Dirty Flaggers Sport. Oh sh the pawn oh, I'll take that tick 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 I oh, want this one too please can I have it please oh whoa, whoa. big mistake my friend gracias senor unlucky my friend you're just facing the dirty flagger who gets joy from flagging all right who is next GG my friend, you played a really good game, it's just you, uh, you know, you made mistakes in time time pressure, which is quite normal, at the end it overall becomes mouse skills, very well played, well done. This guy, Dario, let's go Dario, oh why am I always playing white guys, I wanna play just black, from, oh I was just playing black, why am I searching, but... All right, let's play e4 this time. No, no, no. Okay, you gifted the sub. Yeah, sure. I'll play you next, my friend. Corruption, corruption always works. Sorry, I don't want to encourage corruption, but but yeah, if you gift the sub, I'll play you. Oh, I shouldn't? Sorry! <laughs> I thought you wouldn't know, I'm, I'm, I have a post-Soviet Union background. <laughs> it's, in, it's in my genes.
All right, we got French. Uh, so I believe City is the main line here. Knight C6 is also a move. Uh, refreshing the honest. No, I'm joking. I'm not corrupted. Dude. So, <laughs> not corrupted at all. But uh, in, in our region, in Armenia, in Soviet Union, of course, corruption is a huge issue. But anyway, not gonna get into politics. Corruption is everywhere, unfortunately. Alright, I'm threatening to take this knight. So, my opponent should ask himself a question. What is my opponent threatening? He's threatening to take my knight. So, how do I protect it? Queen b6, pretty good move. Not a great move, but good move. Not a good move, but doable move. Because it kind of... It, it's better when you like develop, develop and protect. You still develop your queen, but queen is the last piece you want to develop in the beginning of the game. Oh, is it? Oh, okay, okay. Alright, sorry. <laughs> Alright. I can't give you a game, my friend, sorry. I'll give you a game on my channel. So, come to my channel after this stream, I'll give you a game. So, you can corrupt me, you can give the sub to the chess, and then I'll play you on my channel. <laughs> not, not in here. Yeah, no worries. Alright, so we are pawn up and a pretty good development. New horsey board pieces? No, I've never used them. Is, is that a cool thing? Oh no. So it works, see? <laughs> but yeah, I'm not I'm not joking. Come to my channel, I'll play you where I have more time. Horsey. Is it on Leech? What engine do I use? And now, right now, uh, right now I'm just using the Houdini. But usually when I train I use uh, LC0, but usually you uh... Oh, all right, I'll try a few games with that Bottom right settings uh -huh. Oh, anyway, it's gonna take me too long uh, let's go. So usually I analyze with LC0. No, Houdini, I was joking because some people use Houdini to cheat, unfortunately, because nobody uses it anymore. And uh, uh, so usually you use LC0 because it gives you Lila, because uh, it's so intelligent and it always comes up with new ideas, but it blunders occasionally. Like it, sometimes it will say. Black is slightly better, but black is just dead lost. It's, it's game over. So some, you, you usually need to use a little bit of both. Like you shouldn't just analyze with LC0. You should check with Stockfish or other engine. Make sure you don't blunder anything. All right, we pawn up, uh, and we're better developed. So. Usually that's a very good combination. And now here comes the blunder. But I mean, you can't really call it the blunder when your position is hopeless. Okay, let's hammer slow. Let's activate the king. No problem, hope, hope it will help you. It's it's very advanced though, you don't really need it at the beginning. At the beginning you just gotta learn basics. Uh, you know, just the theory, how to develop your pieces, uh, how to not blunder big and stuff like that. Good game my friend, well played. 
yeah, so in general, you gotta study the theory and the uh, 96 is a decent move. You can check Rafael Vahanian games, uh, but CD is the main line. Everybody, including myself, plays CD here. Yes, that's me. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm in Australia now, so that's how I deal with it. Horsey board time, alright, let's go. Uh, we go to board theme or wait did you say settings can you quickly direct me there so I go preferences probably bottom right of the piece set oh piece set jesus i'm so bad okay and then which one is that horsey this one is isn't this the one and then which one do i choose horsey this one this one ah here we go beautiful all right I hope it worked. Okay, next one will be this one. Raphael, your lucky day. Oh, this. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's play Alephi. <laughs> this is good. I'm gonna feel busy soon. Do you get lucky? I don't know man, it depends on your luck. So I'm playing Alekhin, not one of the best openings you can find. With all due respect to Alekhin, he's a gen he was a genius, he came up with this opening, but it's not one of the most solid and nice openings you can play, despite Carlsen having really good results with it. <laughs> you didn't know about this, now you know Susik. So it doesn't really matter what opening you play, you just gotta follow the basic rules, which is develop your pieces and quickly castle and fight for the center. Yeah, D3, D3 is, if you can go D4, usually D4 is better. This horse is... Uh... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna continue developing. Do I like Trompovsky attack? No, I don't, my friend. It's a decent opening. But I, I basically played every single decent opening you could imagine of. Oh, the Italian Gambit. Well, generally, guys, there's, there's barely any good Gambit in chess. Yeah, Queen's Gambit. I mean, even King's Gambit is pretty bad. Who is my favorite world champion? Uh, it was always Capablanca. I always liked Capablanca as a kid. But yeah, of course, Petrosian, Armenian world champion, has been my idol too. Danish Gambit, yeah, I guess. Not, not too bad. Alright, we developed everything. It's, this feels so weird. I don't know how I'm gonna play when we're down to a few seconds. Is the bishop like a penguin? Yes, ping. Oh, cheers, Avo. See you later. Hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, I hope you're not going where where I think you're going. Please, please don't go there. Mora, yeah, Mora is alright. Yes, and the Brussels Gambit, yes. Queen's Gambit and the Brussels Gambit, two, two good Gambits I'll suggest. Alright, what do we do? Oh, this feels so weird. <laughs> Oh, 
I will. It, I'll change my mood very soon. As soon as I move to my channel. <laughs> I'll I'll do what you what you, what you used to see. What's your favorite one no zero plus? I don't think there's any challenges. Guys, Susik really likes zero plus one. So if somebody wants to play me zero plus one, I'll I'll give him heads up. Him or her. Because it, it's gonna take literally a minute. Oh, no, no, I'm just joking, my friend. No worries. Oh, oh, he wants to take my bishop. I thought it's, it's his turn, and I was like, oh, I blundered my bishop on g6. As long as the viewers don't mind, it's fine. Oh, gee. Oh, gee. <laughs> Alright, this knight is not doing anything. To this charming man, are you talking about the Smith song, my friend? <laughs> oh, no worries, gaming. Hope you enjoyed the game. <laughs> Look at this creepy rook. Where's the king? Here. How do you challenge? Just challenge me on leeches, my friend. On leeches, I believe you can challenge to anyone. There's no criteria and stuff. Uh, you can just challenge. There's no restrictions. Well, I really want to go before and stop, but whatever I do, I need to speed up. I need to see. I need to see if we speed up. Yes, well spotted. I blundered. Mother, father. Oh, what? Doesn't want my bishop? Wants my rook? Every single move is a blunder from now on. We both are blundering non stop. I'm a slogging. GG my friend. GG, you're doing really well at it for a while. But then you panic in a time trouble. But it's it's pretty hard to play well in time trouble. GG Raphael. Alright, here we go. This one. Tarakus. From Sweden. One of my favorite film directors is uh, the Swedish legend Bergman. Alright, this time I'm gonna play E5. Oh, hello, doggy. Hello, my dear. Alright guys, so the newest approach here is to go a6 and bishop c5. You can check one forest this game from white and z. Then he played it several times. It's not his idea, it's been played before by GMs. But uh, it's pretty solid actually, I analyzed it a bit and could not find refutation. So it's a bit complex, I wouldn't recommend it to play if you're a beginner or even if you're, uh, if you're an IM maybe, yeah. Cause it's it's hard to play for black. He gave gave away the center. Yes, Ingmar Bergman, one of my favorites of all time. Bishop looks like penguin. Should I switch back to normal pieces, or are you guys enjoying this? Does he? This is, I think we're just following the game Tari Aidan against uh, Van Forest. Do I know Cecil Purdy? No, I don't, sorry. Check, gotta go King AJ. Hey man. Alright, we'll, we'll switch to back, back to normal pieces. This was fun, but. 
you guys are probably used to this. <laughs> Alright, it takes E5 is a mistake because it completely ruins the pawn structure. So look guys, it's a pretty nice position for white. One move and white is in big trouble. That, that's one of the most difficult things about chess. You play a really good game and then just one slight inaccuracy can just, can just ruin it all. Well, this wasn't slight inaccuracy, it was a pretty big mistake. But in top level, you play a really good game and you're about to win the game and then you make one inaccuracy and you stuff up and you draw. The Trojan or Spassky? Oh my god. Tough question, man. Both are absolute legends. Love their games. I really like Spassky, I really like the Trojan, so I can't choose. Equally, very, equally uh, strong champions. Both are absolute legends. My friend, you're blundering. You played it too fast. You still have a minute and a half. Gotta take your time. Petrosian name sounds cool. <laughs> As you can see, guys, this is Cow Sounds. So this album is called Meat is Murder. As you can see. So the guy is basically trying to popularize vegetarianism. That's not what I'm trying to do. I, I just treat this as a form of art. The queen is trapped. GG, my friend. Hello, my girl. How are you? you? Just challenge me on Lee Chess, my friend. No need to do it in the chat. Just go to Lee Chess. My handle is Quick Ready and challenge me. GG Tarakos. GG, my friend. So you can check out the uh, Taria run uh, one forest game. I think in the game he went h3 or knight bg2, but d takes e5 is a big mistake because it just completely ruins your structure. Thank you. All right, here we go. Sam. Oh yeah, no worries. Uh, that's your choice. <laughs> Alright, what open, uh, opening I haven't played yet? Cetillion? I don't think I played Cetillion yet. Alright, let's play the Sveshniko, one of the most popular openings now. One of the good ones, the other one is Nidorf. Knight uh, C6 is preferred by DMC. He plays this. He played for the World Championship match. Well, the tree is called Closed Sicilian, obviously not very ambitious opening, just closing your bishop straight away, but yeah, some people do this to keep, you know, pressure in the center, and they like to give give away the center and then fight for it. Oh no, 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 that's not good my friend, should make, should make two moves with one pawn at the beginning of the game. Usually. Alright, this is pretty sad. Pawns are going down, but you still gotta fight. You can't know all the Sicilian variants. In general, I'm not a big fan of Sicilian. Uh, I like Sveshnikov because it's not that sharp, but usually I don't like playing uh, variations that have lots of forced lines that you have to memorize. And usually you just forget, forget them on the way to the game. So I try to uh, take my opponent out of the book as soon as possible. But of course, I wouldn't play something like H3 and say, okay, I'm out of it. It still has to be principle. But yeah, I just try usually to come up with something new and not super dodgy, let's say. Okay, try to win my piece back. Try to find the best move in this position. How can you win one of my pieces back? 
What's the move? It's a small tactic. You gotta find it. Take your time and find one good move. Very small tactical move. Can you spot it? What is it? Can you win my C4 knight? Assuming, yeah, assuming he's watching the stream. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really make sense not to watch it. <laughs> yes, how do you fork the knight? With the queen. I hope you're listening to me. Oh, well done. <laughs> it's not gonna save you, but at least you'll win the piece back. See? It's much easier to spot it, of course, if I tell you there is a tactic. But you gotta ask this yourself this question during the game. Hey man, how's it going? See my friend, you're breaking all the rules. How many moves you made with your queen? You should never do that in the beginning of the game. You should develop your pieces. Instead, all your forces are like this. That's why, I mean, even if I take my bishop out, I'll be completely winning. And I hope this album is not uh, is not too much for you guys. I'll play something less depressing. So, what am I up? I'm up a piece and a central pawn. I have better development. I would evaluate this around plus seven, maybe. Am I right guys? Is this plus 7? I'll play the Scandinavian next black game my friend. Here we go. Hey man. How many moves was my longest game? Oh my god. Probably around 200, I'm not sure, at least 167. I don't really have any favorite openings, I just play all of them. I play c4, d4, e4, knight f3. Oh my friend, you gotta be careful. And now we're gonna mate our opponent, good game my friend. So gotta learn the basics, gotta develop your pieces in the beginning of the game. Shouldn't make two moves with the pieces. At the same piece. Should fight for the center. Cheers, cheers. Hope you enjoy it, Sam. Good game. Here we go. The John Kill session. Well, it's I usually prefer to go with the author, it's his song, so... I haven't played Night of Fear. Yeah, I mean, I don't really have... I have much more respect for the author, and I don't believe anyone can song, sing the Smith songs better. But anyway, it's all personal. Opinion, based. Oh, oh, that's, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> well, there are exceptions, my friend. But yeah, Scandinavian is not one of the best openings. Alright, here we go, Kings Indian. I'm gonna play a very rare move. I think this is Bent Larsen moves, Bishop E3. Uh, it's not a great move, but if your opponent doesn't know, it could be effective. Um... Uh, 
Yeah, so you just develop. Jump up. What do you mean it's not a cover? Are you telling me the Smith stole the song? Alright, let's go rook d1, let's put the pieces in the center and then usually you go b4 as well. So if I go rook d1 now you go take. Well d5 is usually good. Let's go d5. So now if my opponent is experienced King's Indian player, he would know what to do. Oh, I see. Well, well, he still stole the idea, my friend. Anyway, we can we, we can ask Mega, who is a musician, if he's good. John Peel, I never heard of him. All right, so this is very important idea. You gotta know in Kings India. You go 91, 93. You and this bishop starts controlling this diagonal. Knight goes here, opens the road for the f pawn, and knight also supports the b4 c5 breakthrough. Very, very important idea you must know in King's India. He wants to take this. I do not want to take. I'm thinking about this. It's a bit weird. Yeah, let's try it. It's interesting. Yeah. Oh, wait, it's 3 plus 2. Okay. Alright, uh, Gilga, tune into my channel sometime and we'll check John Peel out. But be, be, be prepared to hear a harsh, harsh opinion <laughs> if I don't like it. Alright, this is the next move. Uh, wait, no, this is the next move. But this knight is actually pretty good. Knight h7 uh, probably would make sense to do something like this. Wait, well, I regret not doing this. I'll do it right now. If he goes here, I'll take the queen with the check. Oh, I, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, well, let's take this. So, as you can see, again, I have very dominant position. Knight on d5. Pawn uh, on c6 is good. Bishop b6 is coming. He wants to take my bishop. I'm gonna protect that. What's the best way to get better at chess? Oh, I don't know, man. What's the best way? Just gotta put hours into it, gotta work, learn a bit of everything, have commitment. Well, I've been studying recently lots of poker, and so basically I'm quite... I'm not new to it, but... Uh, I, I, you just watch videos, you know, you, you use a bit of engines, you do everything, and you... Uh, you, you eventually gonna improve unless, unless you do something really dumb with it, it's not useless. Yeah, if you play like checkers or uh, uh, not some different variants of chess, yeah, your chess is not gonna improve for it. Or if you play bullet a lot, it's probably not gonna help. But if you, you know, you study some books and openings, your chess is definitely gonna improve. And also Twitch is a great place to be, there's so many grandmasters, and so many strong players who basically do free lessons. Haha, <laughs> cheers Benito. Good to have you back. 
Alright, I'm rook up, so I just need to be careful and convert this. What's the best chess book you ever read? Uh -huh. Oh, there's so many. In general, I'm not. I don't really read too many chess books. I used to do it when I was a kid. I really like Karpov's book. It was it 50 games. Stein's 50 games. I don't know. There are lots of good books. Grigorich's book was really good. Pologaevsky's. Uh, so, I mean, there are just lots of different books that had different influence on me, on a different uh, times for my career. But uh, I haven't been really studying from the books for the last 10 15 years, basically. I haven't been using any books since I became a GM. It's, it's just a top level. Uh, the openings take priority because you, you can be very well prepared, you can know everything. But then you just go to the game, your opponent just completely out prepares you and you can't, I mean, you can't really do much. You just get really bad position from the opening and then, you know, it becomes really hard. So opening usually takes priority. Do you like the Communist Manifest? What's that? No, you don't have to. All right, mate is incoming. Stop, stop asking the same question, please. Don't get yourself banned. <laughs> yeah. Please respect the chat rules. Oh, how do I prepare for a classical match? Like a game, yeah? Oh, man. It really depends who I play, what do I expect. So usually, let's play, uh, let's say I finished my game, I had dinner, then I went for a walk, and then I know my opponent, so then I'll just, first I'll, I'll see what I have to do, I'll just, you know, uh, check his games and see what he's playing, uh, have a rough, uh, you know, roughly just have a idea of what, what am I expecting, what, what needs to be done. Uh, and then I'll prepare in the evening a bit, maybe one or two hours, it depends how tired am I. Uh, but there's less pressure when you prepare at night, because there's no rush. You can, I mean, I'm not going to sleep late, that's not for, that's for sure. I'm, I never sleep later than 12 or 1. Or It depends, Some, sometime from 11 to 1, depends what's the schedule during the tournament. Uh, so yeah, I'll prepare a bit in the evening, and then I'll prepare quite a bit in the morning. Uh, usually after lunch, I try to completely finalize my prep. And then, uh, you know, always have a coffee before uh, after lunch. Uh, rest, you know, shower, rest, and then, uh, yeah, take a nap for like half an hour, 40 minutes before the game. And then go to the game. But. Uh, sometimes when, when it gets out of control, you have very important game, I might even prepare just before the game, like literally there is two minutes before the game starts, or maybe the game has already started, I'm still in my room preparing, which is really bad for you. And then I go and sit over the board, I don't remember anything, because it's just like you quickly go through your files and basically you end up wasting your time and energy, it's much better. Uh, what I just recently realized, not recently, you know, like last few years, I've been just doing zero prep one hour before the game. Just resting, taking a nap, trying to be chilled. 5 plus 8 rapid game, no my friend, I'm sorry, if I play you 5 plus 8 game, there'll be barely any time left to play anyone else. You can challenge me any to blitz game. Five plus two is the longest time control I play on. All right, we got a free pawn. Yeah, pretty long, my friend. But it's I would actually suggest, especially at the beginning, uh, it's good to play long games. You learn more from long games than blitz games, because then you can build up your uh, thinking process. When you have more time, you know you can think. You have more time to think, and that's good. When when it's blitz, sometimes your hand 
takes advantage of your brain quite often I would say I would say lots of kids have such problems where they just uh, before they brain starts thinking they just their hand is already there to make a move it can be a major issue I had that issue when I was a kid actually moving fast I mean Anand had that issue till he was like 18 or 19 moving too fast Carlson still has that issue he moves sometimes too fast but he's just so good can even move fast and still find the best way. And it's not quite an issue for him. Sometimes he just decides that he's gonna play super fast. I tried to do it too myself. I played fast and then uh, I did really well for some part of the game and then suddenly I just messed up something. I did not check that book, my friend. I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with it. Maybe Mega can help uh, help us with some book recommendations. Here's here's few links. I really like Mikhail Marin's books. They are pretty good actually for any level. Mike Hawk. Who is it though? Alright, this is one of the most depressing songs you'll ever find. Hey man, how's it going? This is probably a song I strongly recommend against listening to during the chess game. <laughs> I'll take all your energy away. Low key troll. <laughs> Good one, Cha Cha. Probably not, but I mean, it's, uh, it really doesn't matter. Whichever piece is plays better. <laughs> oh, nice. Thanks for letting me know, my friend. Sorry, I didn't know him. Obviously I'm pissed up and I'm just trying to find the fastest way to mate my opponent. Oh GG my friend, hope you enjoyed the game. Yeah, so everything was going alright till you went for this dubious plan, but it's actually not too bad bringing knight to a4. And then bishop a4 was a blunder. I didn't see it at first, oh my god. Oh, damn. Well, it actually maybe not that good, so I could have taken bishop f4, knight f4, bishop c2, but he is knight e6, so I chose the right moment to Oh, thanks my friend. Don't, don't watch the game I played previous year against him on the same tournament. That was one of the most painful losses of my life. I'll show it later if, if I have time. Alright, let's go my friend. Smirkia. Alright, what, what haven't I played yet? Let's play something really less popular. What you, uh, you should have brought your knight to f4, my friend. Knight f4 instead of bishop f4. Because you don't r really want to swap the bishops. When do I normally stream? I usually stream at 10 a.m. Sydney time. On the weekdays, not, not on the week weekends. Weekends is... Uh, yeah, a bit tough. I, I do stream sometimes, usually when there's a tournament. But yeah, weekends are rare. Yeah, an hour and so from now. Thanks, GM. Alright, d5 gives me an option of going knight c5. 
Yeah, guys, so just look at this position. I lost this position, guys. It's, it's totally unbelievable. I lost this position. It's, it's unheard of. He went C3, uh, Rook B3, and yeah, I don't know. I don't want to remember that game. And I had uh, three, three and a half minutes and he had 50 seconds. Yeah, but, he, but he, after the game he literally went like... Are you an idiot or what? <laughs> Sorry, I can't help you. Jobaba just deleted his leeches account. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Jobaba has huge tilting issues. 50, my friend. 50 seconds with 5? No, 10 seconds increment for each move. Alright, so ideally now I want to swap the dark squared bishops, that's why I'm gonna go h6 and prepare bishop g5. He goes a 4 I'm still gonna follow my plan. Oh, wait. Queen swap or no queen swap? That is the question. No queen swap. Ah, he has closed it before. Ah, okay, then, then it doesn't count. That's basically doing the take back. You never play on... Is he upset because he faced a, a streamer? Rest <laughs> Good one, Gio. <laughs> now I know what today's date is. So guys, uh, because my position is passive, it's good for me to exchange pieces. But it's even better for me to win a queen for free. That, that's like actually the best solution. When you have a passive position, all your pieces are your passive, try to win your opponent's queen. GG my friend, bad luck. Just watch out, always ask your question, yourself a question. What is my opponent threatening? Oh, Alright, let's go. Next one from the top. This guy. 2 plus 0. Let's go. Vamos. Hang the DJ. Yes, Fernando. Good one. <laughs> hang the DJ. Hang the DJ. Alright, so let's play the Caro. I don't think I played one of my favorite openings, the Caro. Actually, good, good French, uh, good, uh, good, op uh, good question. I, al I also heard that uh, the main Leeches uh, office is in uh, France. Is that true? Is Leeches a French website? You won the defense, but had to play a playoff game and lost. Ah. Oh. Oh, there's no real office. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Guys, so th there's a big difference. Chess.com uh, gets sponsored by Steinberg family. So they, they have basically unlimited resources. Yeah, it's just a... <laughs> Ah, it's just registered in France, also. I see. It looks like a free point. Oh shit, I gotta speed up. Oh, it's a bullet game. Oh my god. Oh, why do I give valuable time? Free piece. This is what happens when you play bullet, my friend. You make quick moves and you blunder. We need John Mena's command here. Oh, cheers, car. I agree. <laughs> Especially after on, on, online Olympiad, I'm very upset with chess.com. And Arkady Dvarkovich. Ah, it's Libre. Okay, okay.
Oh, my friend, you're not even looking at the position. So that, this is one of the issues with with bulleting. You just make instant moves without thinking much. Yes, Jim, these are a few words that are banned in my... Most of it is a joke, of course. Alright, how do we meet? You forgot the sear, my friend. Libre. Haven't you haven't you ever had the cocktail called Cuba Libre? Alright, let's go. Sivia Sivas. D4, what haven't I played yet? Uh, I haven't played Queen's Gambit yet. Alright, I'm gonna play some dodgy move, Bishop F5. I played actually quite a few classical games with this move. Bishop F4, so the main problem guys with Bishop F5 is you go E6, C4, Knight F6, Knight C3, Knight F8, uh, c4 e6, knight c3, knight f6, and then knight h4. That's the refutation of bishop f5. You can check my game against Guzman, a GM from Israel. It was played in a European Championship in uh, Macedonia in 2019. 19? Yeah, 19. Well, first of all, Yuremota, I really don't like the idea that if you stream on chess.com, you cannot stream on WeChess. I don't have, I don't want to have such commitment. Like, I want to stream on bad websites. And WeChess is much more smoother, it's much, much faster. Hey, Mega. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Bishop F5 is in general a very solid setup. Yeah, but let's be respectful, guys. After all, both websites are doing a great job popularizing chess. Yeah, I mean, that would be nice, of course, if Dynia could stream on Lee Chess, I could play on Lee Chess as well. Alright, we're winning a piece. How long have you been playing chess till I became title player? So, I, w I started playing chess from 5-6, I learned the moves at 5. I, I, there were, there were categories back then, so I... So the highest category was one before you get a title, and the one first category is like 2,000 video rating basically. So I got to that in less than two years, uh, but then I, my my progress wasn't that fast. Uh, I don't think I played Swiddler online, so I became I master at like 13 or 14, maybe 15. I became I I am very late, and then on the next year or the year after I became GM. I played Swiddler in the World Beast Championship, it was so sad, I, I was playing Black and I was completely winning in like 8 moves, he totally messed up, but then I messed up and I drew, and then we played an OTP game in Isle of Man, in the Grand Swiss, one of the best tournaments you can find in the world, my favorite tournament, I love Olympia too, uh, and then yeah, it was an interesting game, it was a theoretical battle, uh, I thought I got a very slight edge, but 
I actually didn't have anything and it ended in a draw and we both finished the tournament on plus two but in general I, it was a good result and I had lots of positive uh, emotions after that tournament because I played basically so my rating is like 2660 and it's an open tournament and the average rating of my opponents I played was like 2650 if not, if not higher, maybe 2670 or 80. I just like playing with an opponent, whereas basically there's no pressure to win. You go to the game to play, just to play good chess. When you play in an open tournament, you play lots of people who are rated 2000, 2100, 2300, even 400. Uh, if you draw them, you lose lots of rating points. If I draw against 2400 player, I lose more than 3 point something rating points and it's hard to win this rating point so that's why I prefer playing against people over 2600 yeah lots of lots of favorite gems I always like Paul Garris, but I really like Grigoric. Always like his style. Him, Podogayevsky. Oh, we, we did list. Oh, this is one of the worst moves you could play in the position, my friend. This is this is a song for people who always ask me, please, sir, let's play a game, please, sir. This guy. Kukaracha, let's go, that's a cool name, Kukaracha. I don't think I played before yet. Yes, your Mota, please stop doing that. What's your question? Oh, thanks my friend. Hope you enjoyed the game. Oh, so greatest Armenian players after Petrosian? Oh, Vahanian would be next. Well, obviously Aronian, but yeah, we're talking about past, right? Uh, so, uh... Petrosian, Vahanian... We had the greatest composer, basically one of the greatest chess composers of all time and one of the good players. They own you. <laughs> Team Chess Dojo. <laughs> yeah, I don't like to be on. So Chess, uh, sorry. So, uh, yeah, Vahanian would be the second. I mean, obviously, I'm not counting Aronian. Aronian, Petrosian, well, Petrosian has an advantage of being world champion, but Aronian, yeah, so similar level and then it goes Vahanian and then uh, well next would be all our current players like Olympic champions Akopian, Sarkisian because uh, uh, no Kasparov is actually not Azer he was born and raised in Azerbaijan in Baku but his mother is Armenian uh, unfortunately she passed recently uh, and her his father was Jewish, if I'm not mistaken. Of Jewish origins. Yeah, his mother. Yes, Mega. Guys, you can trust Mega. He knows everything. But I mean, you can check check Wikipedia. It's all correct usually. Yeah, Armenian mother, Jewish father. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fisher's great grandma was Armenian, really? Wow. <laughs> yeah, so Vahanyan would be second to whom you could legendary, who was number three in the world 
who was fighting with equals with Karpov and I mean not equals of course Karpov was better but he was a lazy guy he didn't really work on his chest at all so it's pretty he had pure talent and he was just playing French all his life without studying it properly so very very natural player he still plays actually nice guy I meet him occasionally definitely worth checking his games interesting player very very classy player Hungarian and Jewish I see all right so the position looks the materialistically is balanced but the c6 pawn is a big weakness that that's the issue uh, usually you need to go c5 or he goes c5 but unfortunately it's just a free pawn at the moment well what's my next move guys obviously i'm gonna bring the rook to the oh no 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 cucaracha gotta watch out for the whole board GG my friend so I'll just tell you one thing you gotta know when you play this kind of structures yeah when you go b5 it has to be followed by c5 so if you go b4 and you allow me to blockade your pawn on c6 with knight on c5 that means you're in huge trouble so make sure you follow up b5 with c5 so prepare c5 maybe it should be 7 c5 but it doesn't work here so if, if you go b5 and you're not gonna go c5 anytime soon just don't do it all right let's play from the top here straight up oh straight up oh let's go my man that was a pure accident i'm not choosing my viewers on my channel uh what haven't i played yet let's play b3 Oh, okay, GM. Yeah, you're right. No worries. Oh, yeah. I mean, guys, online rating and normal ratings don't really have to do anything together. They're completely different. Uh, it's, it's, it's just different. I don't know how to compare them. I would I would say Jewish, my friend. Lots of lots of great players of Jewish origin. Even now. Can I check it if you are in the queue? You probably are, my friend. You must be in the queue. I, uh, yeah, I think I saw you. All right, so I'm just playing some, you know, Bishop Piancetto stuff. Ah, oh, there is, okay. All right, we get an isolated pawn. Can they... <laughs> GM, you're becoming a fun troll, I have to say. Alright, we get the isolated pawn, so usually you don't want to take on d4 because that's just helping me out. I'm happy to put my knight on d4. Hey, did you become a class, class of player? What's that, my friend? Can you rephrase your uh, sentence, your question, please? 100, 200 higher than speed day. Yeah, perhaps you're right. I don't know, my friend. I can't check every uh, every one of you and see if you're in the queue. If you challenge me, you're definitely in the queue. Yes, bullet, a uh, GM bullet is completely different. Bullet has nothing to do. Bullet is completely different skill. I forgot what was it called. Ah, you mean the class? Yeah, like yeah. That's what I was telling you. It's like seven, my friend. I had first class in the first category when I was 7. 
shoplifters of the world. But usually, if you want to be good in blitz or even rapid, you gotta be good at tactics. Yeah, uh, you gotta see the tactics quickly, especially in blitz. In rapid, it's more only experience and intuition. If you have good intuition, lots of experience, that helps a lot. Yeah, my friend, giant chest. Lots of people are waiting for that uh, to enter in a chess tournament. I think the chess is gonna have a huge boom uh, since the COVID settles down, I mean, goes away and disappears. Uh, because, uh, yeah, I, th I think there'll be lots of interest in chess. If, if Fide could do a good job and somehow completely exclude cheating from OTB chess at least, do, to, to have like good arbiters and stuff, because they're doing. Now 90% of arbiters are incompetent. If yeah, if, if cheating can be completely excluded, it's gonna be lots of fun. Yeah, of course, yeah. But I mean in in a multi-hour chess it's a bit different because you have so much time, even if you see the tactics slow, you still have time to you know to see them. This is, this is your favorite song, my song, uh, my friend, about hanging with DJ. Yeah, people, I'm hungry for real chess. I'm actually going to play a uh, OTB tournament soon uh, in Australia. It starts in like two months, less than two months. Hopefully it doesn't get cancelled. There will not be any international players, but it's still good to have some practice. Yeah, giant chess. Let's not get into it, man. That's too sad. Oh, what did Alco do? Oh my god. Oh my god. Straight up. What have you done? What have you done? Did you ask yourself a question? What's my opponent is threatening? Okay, how about this? Oh. Mate. Oh, bad luck straight up. Always ask yourself question. What is my opponent threatening? me? Hope you enjoyed, my friend. Oh, I've been in Australia for over a year, my friend. GG straight up. GG, my friend. Alright, here we go. Now we're going all the way to the bottom. Alright, so I'm going... Oh, let's play one bullet. Hang the DJ, hang the DJ. All right, let's play a bullet game. Cheer straight up. Hang the DJ. Ronaldinho, your turn to go. Hurry up, my friend. I only have like 15, 20 minutes left. Finding the crane, yeah, giant chess, fair enough. Oh, here we go, my friend, Karokano. I'm playing the newest, oh no, I was gonna play the newest thing that everyone does, but he didn't give me a chance. I think he blundered. Think, did he? I thought I could have... Uh, nothing works, nah, no blander. I was looking for a German Oh, I meant to attack here. Why did I put my rook to E1? Two people who don't... Oops, it's playing the same song. Oh, 
All right, I gotta speed up. Let's go. Oh, senor, senor. Boss is dust. People are very nice to me today, wondering lots of stuff. Who is trying to be lit? Who is Joy? Alright, let's go my friends from Germany. Cifro. 3 plus 2. Uh, what haven't I played yet? Let's play Reverse Touch. Who is asking for a band, Benito? Uh, I think not, not Arbiters are comp incompetent, but lots of them are. Just from the experiences I had my friend. Of course, there are lots of good Arbiters. I'm saying percentage-wise. No, no checking in the queue. Yes, if you if you challenge and you, you don't close the leeches. Tifro, you're missing out on your chance, my friend. You got five more seconds, I believe. Maybe ten. Hurry up! With low key jokes. <laughs> All right, my, uh, you missed your chance, my friend. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, I'm. I meant to accept your challenge. Uh, let's go e four. All right, you got 45. Let's play the scotch. Oh my god, I I don't think I ever seen this move in my entire life against the scotch. <laughs> People are scared of course. What? What is this about, Mega? All right, I'm gonna do a typical trick that you gotta know. It, it's kind of exceptional. Oh, this guy doesn't let me to do anything. So when he goes here, you don't castle and go h4. It's kind of a typical trick. That can be pretty effective. Yeah, see, it tricked me instead. Guys, if I would really want it to draw, I wouldn't go knight g5, bishop d1, and then it's a perpetual. Try to calculate it yourself. And unfortunately, if I take here, it takes with the knight and doesn't let me make it. Oh, 95, oh my god, I blundered the game. Unbelievable. How, why does this have to happen to me every time? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I just can't help it, man. I just can't help it. I'm sorry, sorry. Okay, I'll give you a rematch, it was a joke. <laughs> I just wanted to do it for the beauty, the sake of beauty. <laughs> This is a typical trick, guys, you gotta know. Let's play another game, Farik. <laughs> I did it to one of my best, like, strongest viewers the other day. <laughs> Do you want a rematch or you're done? Yeah, he got my queen, that's true. <laughs> Oh no! Alright, Farik, GG, GG my friend. This is a typical trick, so see, I, I, I really wanted to do it here, like go knight e5. And if you take, I still win. But unfortunately, you just take with the knight, and my queen is attacked, and your bishop is protected. 
So that was the thing. All right, here we go. All the way down here. Then. Uh... Oh no 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 rated. Oh my god. Okay, let's play rated. Just promise you'll resign it if you're about to win. Oh no, pushy. What have you done? All right, 97 is one of the. Uh, actually, I played this one of the first and became really popular now. No, knight d7 threatening d5, d4 very logical, knight d6. I'm gonna change this album. Oh, I didn't play my favorite the Smith song. This is my favorite. This is even more depressing. Oh, thanks for sending the challenge. Hopefully you get lucky. I'm gonna play two more games after this and that's gonna be it. I will uh, move to my channel after that. Oh, GM. Dude, stop giving ideas to my opponents. If I have four, quite typical in this kind of structure, when the, uh, when the center is closed, you can afford to do this. And now I'm gonna do something super weird. That is not actually that weird. Just gonna demonstrate you some weird ideas. Yeah, Grunfeld is good. Oh, thank you, new follower. I think that was the first follower for the throughout the entire stream. Is that possible? I don't think that's possible. <laughs> Alright, he goes CD. Now I have an option. So usually this knight, if the knight were on C3, I wouldn't go CD because then he would have get he, he would have gone into d5 square but now with knight on d2 i can afford to do that yes go follow everybody what is this guys just one follower for the entire stream oh my god at least at least 20 followers guys come on you're embarrassing me all right before he wants to get isolated calm he's gonna get it Oh, thank you, new follower. Let's go. Thank you, new follower. Follow leeches.org, my friend. Uh, I usually, uh, I quite frequently stream on this channel, guys. So you'll find me here uh, pretty often. My, no, don't follow my channel. My channel name is GM Melkunian. GM underscore Melkunian. But follow VChess.org. Cheers, cheers, Adiyam. You know, these words are so true. So true. You like that piece, don't you, Constantine? <laughs> cheers, cheers, Chris. Let's go here. You love the horsey pieces. All right, I'll play one more game with horsey pieces. I think lots of people in the chat like the horsey pieces. Thank you, new follower. Thank you. Let's go, guys. 20 followers till I till I play last two games. Is that is that even possible? Love is natural and real, but not tonight. Not tonight, my love. Love is 
The horsey pieces, yo. We got an exchange. Now we're gonna swap everything. Let's bring the king. Mother. F5 was possible too, yeah, you're right. You have to stop to get the emote, yeah, or you have to be a mode. But I think uh, subbing would be an easier option. Oh, wait, 30 seconds, mamma mia. Gracias, senor. Good game. We put up a good fight. Oh no! Even most don't get a free one? That's so sad. Alright, next one. We'll do from the top. This guy. Marty Roussian A. Oh. Dude, can you challenge me? I'm ready to turn on. Oh wait, I'll do it. Mother, I can feel. Come on, Martirosian, are you there? All right, let's go next. Again, rated. Oh, again, Martirosian. What are the odds? Oh my God. <laughs> Her name was Dagura. Oh, let's play G3 this time. 80 channel points? Yeah, it's not much indeed. No, this is not Big Mouth Strikes again, but I love that album, of course. I switched to Pulp. And I literally played all uh, the Smith songs. So against the Dutch, oh, D5 is a big mistake because it totally weakens the E5 score. You gotta go D6. Oh yeah, put the horsey pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I say, I bet if I start playing with horsey pieces, I drop my rating for at least hundred points. Maybe I'll get used to it eventually, though. Is this a new thing, guys? Oh, it's so close, but the queen does not get trapped. Come on, guys, let's give Liches some follows. I think they're trying to get to 10k. Maybe? I don't know, let me see the number. Let me see the number. Yeah, let's get to 10k, only 1600. Oh, free bishop, free rook! You didn't notice me at all. This is a very sad song, guys. Uh, so this song, uh, the pop guy wrote, is about his friend who died at, from cancer, and there it's an actual person they used to go to school with. So it's actually from his life. It's all true, not fiction. Oh my. Queen swap, yeah, let's go. Sneaky bishop a8. My opponent blundered. Melancholy, yeah, master chess dojo. I guess so. I would, I would. It, it's better to use depressing, <laughs> but I, but I like it. 
Alright. No, but that... It's not fun, because you guys cannot see it. I do play against my uh, viewers blindfolded sometimes. Just from my experience, my friend. I've played thousands of tournaments in my life. It's just like in chess, there are lots of good players and there are lots of incompetent players. Yeah, the king has set. <laughs> yeah, it does look pretty sad. Oh no, GM. Stop, dude. Stop, stop, dude. Stop making us all depressed. Is there any mate? No. I'll just grab this pawn, I guess. The, the rook looks so sneaky. <laughs> She's done. Everybody came to see. She's born. And I know I'll never see her face again. Oh yeah, yeah lazy, yeah that's good too. They don't put much effort. Alright, time to meet. Meet in DOS. GG. Alright guys, I'm gonna play the last game. Hey Alti, how's it going? Who's this cartoon chess? <laughs> Now let's play from the middle. This guy, Emilio. Let's go, Emilio. Let's play some cartoon chess. No worries, my friend. Hope you enjoy. And the last opening will be the perts. The POS perts. Oh, that's a depressing song. She's dead. Perts uh, is basically at the beginning of when you just start learning chess, you learn to fight for the center, and Perts is the worst opening to play for that purpose. Like, this is actually a decent move. Knight c6, d5, then you go knight d8. But you're not gonna teach this to beginners, right? Because then they will start doing it everywhere. Yes, the priceless, of course. That's what I meant. What did you think? Like, this is quite standard play for Perth. Oh, just a boxing cage. How are you, my friend? How are you, Mickey? Unfortunately guys, this is the last game, then I'll be moving to my channel for another hour or so. We played lots of games, hope you enjoyed it. That's good you're doing well my friend. So pawn up. Price, yes, low T opening. <laughs> that low T high T thing is genius. So the guy who came up with the idea is 
uh, he always plays Hammerschlag, guys. Can you believe it? He plays Hammerschlag all the time. Doesn't play anything else. And Hammerschlag is F3 King F2 or F6 King F7. Alright, we're pawn up, very nice position. Beautiful d5 square for our knight or bishop. Just. <laughs> well, the problem with the openings like third is you give away the center, and then if you make one more mistake, like you make just one mistake, you might just lose the game straight away. You don't have like. Uh, there is no room for mistake, basically. When you play the perch, you make one mistake, you usually... That's it. That's the end of you. The chop, yeah, the bishop is hilarious. I love the bishop. <laughs> yeah, the queen is looks a bit stupid. <laughs> the knight is... Weird. The pawns are just creeps. The king is so depressed. But the bishop is so hilarious. Oh, there's no more bishop left. <laughs> oh, I don't remember the... Uh, with the numbers. If I see the game, I'll remember, of course. But Yeah, the match in Philippines in B was, of course, a very famous match between Karpov and Kashnoi. Happy hour, Glasgow. <laughs> okay, Alti, I'll, I'll try. Let's go here. Was all in. <laughs> yeah, he shoved. All right, we're two pawns and an exchange up. The rest should be easy peasy. Oh, GG Emilio, hope you enjoyed the game. You played all right at the start. Develop your pieces fine. Just you missed before again. It's typical when you go before. You gotta start before with a3. Always ask yourself question. What's your opponent? Threatening GG Emilio All right guys, that is going to be it for uh, Liches.org. Please make sure you give a follow to Liches uh, The best website you can play chess and it's all for free. What else could you what more could you ask for? Uh, I'm gonna be moving to my channel now and we'll be playing GMs for like an hour and then I have to go uh, to to a lunch with family. Cheers. Here's something pretentious. <laughs> Alright, now I have to ask Chris to raid to my own channel if that's okay. Uh, how do you do it? Uh, like this? So I go here. I turn off this two, right? 